All right, so it sounds like a lot of you have been pulling out your hair trying to create table pop-ins, so that's what we're going to do in today's tutorial. Again, this is a continuing off our last tutorial. Uh, feel free to click the link if you need to go back and create the same internal tables that we'll be using today. Let's get started. So we're in our same uh, ZWP table component. We're going to go into uh, the views. And you will see here we have our table with the three columns. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, table pop in to this table element and also with a toggle cell. First the trick most people uh, miss is that you have to add a table pop in attribute to the table you're going to be using. So go into change mode real quick. We're going to create attribute and we'll call it table pop in and a type string will do. Alright, so now this is going to mess up our code a little bit. Um, we did it in our last tutorial, so we'll go back to wdo.net. If we do a little check here, we should get an error. Yes, so you kind of converted to uh, line type LT user. That is because these local structures we created no longer uh, match the table we're trying to um, append to. So we'll say uh, table pop in type string in our local in our type, and we'll also add that to our. I think we can skip that in our local structures. Let's give it a try. All right, cool. We're good there. Let's go back to our context. All right, sorry. Go back to our layout. Right click on table and we're going to insert a table pop in. Perfect. Now we're going to insert a column that controls uh, the show and hide of the table pop ins. So we'll go into the table, right click, insert column, and we'll leave that as that. And we're going to now right click on the table column we just created and then insert cell variant. So we'll call this uh, table pop in toggle cell. And then you also want to make sure the type is table pop in toggle cell. Very good. So in the now that we have the table pop in toggle cell created, we're going to create a variant key called toggle cell save that and now you want to do that on the actual column you want to make sure we and find the parameter selected cell variant and we're going to identify the toggle cell we created just created with the ID toggle cell so we'll save that perfect so now you have these uh, little toggle UI elements that will allow you to uh, drop down the pop-ins or show and hide the table pop-ins. Uh, Alright, so let's go uh, into our table pop-in. We don't have anything uh, in it yet, so we'll right click and we'll insert content. And I always start by adding a transparent container. Uh, and in that transparent container, uh, for our test, we'll insert the element of text view. And we'll just write testing our pop in. We'll save that. Give it an activate. And right click test. So we have our little uh, additional column with our toggle cells. We'll click this, and there's our pop in. Now it's showing all of our pop ins. The reason it's doing that is because SAP has nowhere to store the ID of the selected pop-in. So if you remember, we created that new context node table pop-in, yet we haven't used it yet. So we'll go back into our layout and we'll select our table. And it's in the table that we can find the property selected pop-in. So we'll click the binding, select our table pop-in, save. We'll reactivate that. And voila, now it works. So we can play with these uh, individually now. So let's make this a little bit cooler. You can uh, actually add tables within tables, um, but what we're going to do is actually move um, the email address into the table pop-in. Let's so go back to our view and we're going to open up the transparent container. We're going to delete our 
uh, text view element. We're going to the table email column. We're going to steal that uh, email value we have there. So just drag and drop that to our transparent container. Now we can actually just remove the table email column. No longer need that. All right, so we'll activate and retest it. There we go. So we no longer have the email column. We drop down our table pop-in, and you can see the email is now within the pop-in. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe so you can uh, catch more of my videos. Thank you.